Around the world, you can find many very small countries. There is San Marino, a tiny mountainous country in Italy. There is also Tuvalu and Nauru, both in the Pacific Ocean and Monaco on the south coast of France. But the record is held by Vatican City in the heart of Rome. At just 0.5 square kilometers or 0.2 square miles it is officially the smallest country on earth. London also had a claim to have the smallest country on earth only for a few years and not officially. This is the bizarre story of the public of Frestonia. There was a black and white film, an evening comedy, made in 1949 called Passport to Pimlico and it told the story of a part of London that attempts to declare independence from Britain when an old treaty is discovered during building works. This film served as part of the inspiration for the residents of Freston Road who, on October 31st, 1977, decided to secede from the United Kingdom and form their own country, the Free and Independent Republic of Frestonia. This is Freston Road, North Kensington. The area of Frestonia was the triangle formed by Freston Road, Bramley Road and Shalfleet Drive. Around 200 people lived in the area and most of them were squatters. When the local authority announced plans to redevelop the area there were some protests. Many of the residents got together and agreed to change their surnames to the same name Bramley after Bramley Road. The plan was that the local authority would have to rehouse them all collectively as if they were one family. When the local authority threatened them with formal eviction, the residents decided to declare independence and start the Free and Independent Republic of Frestonia. The residents of Frestonia created their own flag and also had their own postage stamps which were accepted by the Royal Mail. They even had plans to start their own currency but that never really got off the ground. This building, the People's Hall, acted as the capital of Frestonia. They had a foreign minister, the actor David Rappaport, and an ambassador to the UK, the playwright Heathcote Williams. They actually received a message of support from an MP, the Shadow Chancellor of the Exchequer, Sir Geoffrey Howe, who was trying to establish diplomatic relations, but was secretly enjoying it as a big joke. There was also a half-hearted attempt to join the United Nations and request that peacekeeping troops be sent to maintain their borders and repel any British military offensives. The Republic of Frestonia lasted around five years and after some residents moved out, sorry, immigrated to other parts of London and many of the remaining hundred or so Frestonian citizens had drink and drug problems, the whole idea went into decline and was eventually abandoned. There is not much left of the Republic of Frestonia, it is now just a footnote in history and a Wikipedia page entry, but it was an interesting, if ultimately unsuccessful, social experiment. Let me know if you remember Frestonia, if you are old enough, or if you knew of anybody that was a Frestonian. They will probably be in their 60s or 70s by now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the other videos on the Offbeat London channel.